Hey. So a brief about the JavaScript syntax. Instructions are called statements. So this is one statement. That's a statement. That's a statement. And this function that has these curly braces, this is a block. So if they have the curly braces, that is a block of code. So statements end in semicolons. And in the ECMAScript definition, it is said that the semicolons are optional. But always make sure you add them. And then you can create spaces in JavaScript by the tab key on your keyboard or the space bar. There are some spaces that are significant, others don't really matter. So you can add spaces here. If you want the code to look cleaner, you can add spaces. Some places, uh, spacing does not affect. But in this case, if you do that, it will be affected. So there are cases where space affects and spaces doesn't affect. So the spaces are called white space so this space is, is what we call white space javascript is also case sensitive so that means if you have a variable And you have another variable this will point to two different variables so JavaScript is case sensitive so always keep that in mind okay let's continue in the next video